So hello to everyone. <clears throat> My name is Zev Zalewski, and I'm going to speak with you about effortless and non-contact sensing for preventive care. Who of you like science fiction? Do you remember Star Trek? Do you remember the recorder they had? This device that could sense life vital signals from a distance? So I have a surprise for you. Actually, this is not a science fiction anymore, because this is exactly what we build at Continuous Biometrics. So the history of this company is like this. This technology was developed in my lab at Bar-Ilan University approximately 11 years ago in collaboration with the University of Valencia. And approximately two and a half years ago, it was commercialized from my lab to Continuous Biometrics. We raised approximately $20 million from various investors. We have vast intellectual property that includes many patents. Some of them are pending, some of them are already granted. We have a very strong team, including people who are researchers, who are <coughs> engineers, marketeers, uh, business developers. Uh, we are sitting in Tel Aviv, in Israel. And our business model is to uh, combine data feed and analytics offering to be to B to C a business model. We talk about remote and non-contact sensing of multiple biometrical parameters, and we focus on a consumer health. Uh, we expect to deliver our first product at the end of Q1 2018. Okay, so uh, what we actually do, we have a sensor that includes a camera with special optics and a laser, and what it does, it sends uh, from a distance nano vibrations. Those nano vibrations, those nano mo movements, can be associated with many things. The, uh, it can be because everything vibrates, everything moves in the nano scale. Our first focus is to go towards the healthcare applications, but also a platform as a sensing of uh, turbines, uh, pre uh, making preventive care for turbines, machinery problems, and even food quality can be done in next stage. So um, this is how our, uh, our first prototype looks like. So we talk about a single sensor that can sense many biomedical parameters at once. It is very simple to use. It is non-disruptive because we do a passive and a continuous sensing of all those biomedical parameters. Uh, it is suitable for medical grade, gra grade accuracy. And the data which is collected goes to the cloud for big data, advanced analytics of artificial intelligence that can provide tracking, can provide a sensing of anomalies for doing the right um, alerting and prevention. So we talk about sensing, which is non uh, from, from a distance, which is uh, non-contact sensing. Uh, and this sensing is agnostic to the position, to the a type of closing to the environmental conditions at which the sensing is done, which is very important. In this movie, Providing continuous medical care to those who need it is currently expensive and inefficient. We need to make healthcare more affordable and accessible to all and to extend the clinic's reach into the patient's homes. Here, at Continuous Biometrics, we do exactly that, making it extremely easy for people to get access to continuous medical monitoring everywhere through remote, non-touch, and effortless sensing. Our sensor consists of a camera with its special optics and a laser, and they can be connected to any type of consumer devices, such as mobile phones, TVs, or even car dashboards. We use unique and patented optical methods to capture nano-vibrations created by the movement of internal organs, chemicals, and molecules in the body of the subject that we are trying to sense. Our sensor can detect a large variety of biomedical parameters simultaneously without any physical contact to the user. With our sensor, we can measure heart and respiration rates, heart and lung sounds, blood pressure, pulse wave velocity, chemicals in bloodstream, such as glucose and alcohol, and even muscle activity. And all this with a nanometric precision. What we are providing is a revolutionary solution for patients suffering from various chronic diseases, such as cardiovascular, diabetes, and other respiratory conditions. Thanks to our sensors, which are incredibly easy to use, patients will get monitored passively throughout the day without changing their daily routines. The system collects and uses AI techniques to analyze data and alerts patients as well as physicians in case of deterioration. Providing that kind of preventive care improves quality of life and can save patients' lives. 
Here at Continuous Biometrics, we are enabling better healthcare everywhere. Just to summarize, we focus on two groups of uh, target populations, cardiovascular patients and diabetic patients, and our products are divided into two lines. The first is to partner with uh, health and wellness groups to perform personal care, to give personal care solutions, and the other one is to partner with medical devices vendors and to provide clinical care solutions. Thank you for your time. So what kind of results can you share with us about how this looks at molecules and you know whether my what my blood alcohol content is using lasers it just sounds wonderful but i'd like to see some data on that yeah well it's hard to show a lot of data in uh, five minutes yeah. we did the uh, research that was uh, done during 11 years and published almost 50 papers in leading scientific <laughs> journals in which we have a lot of measurements we conducted also clinical trials some of them in hospitals uh, specifically, in sense of chemicals, we have very unique technique to measure glucose, specifically glucose because it has very special physical effect called, called Faraday rotation effect. So the specificity of our measurement is very unique and very different from what was done before. In case of alcohol that you ask me, alcohol affects the way your heart beats. When you drink alcohol, your heart, you have the beats, S1 and S2, and between the beats you have some noises, and the more alcohol you drink, the less noise you have. Mm -hmm. So we sense those noises. Of course, if you drink too much alcohol, everything is very quiet. Beep. <laughs> but we just look between the beats, and the, the less noise you have, the more alcohol you drink. Zev, you said the, yeah. the model's B to B to C. It's consumer yes. focused. Um, I saw pictures of a mobile phone you know, being used. Is that the ideal state? Are you, how are you going to B to B? with a camera technology, what is that gonna look like? So first of all, the mobile phone is one example. We have various uh, products which are going to be released, starting from a low-end product up to a higher-end product. So some of them go to the end user directly, B2B to, to the customer. Some of them uh, go to the customer through the clinic and they are larger. Not all of them are smartphones. But in all of them you have a camera and a laser. The point is that uh, the camera and the laser itself and even the processor, if the measurement distance is short, one to two meters, can be very compact and also very cheap. We talk about few cubic centimeters. The larger the measurement distance is, like in a clinic when you install it, for instance, in the corner of the room, the distance is larger, the sensor is also more expensive and larger. So not all of them look like a smartphone. <laughs> Only the low end look like smartphones. Since you have multiple devices, how are you calibrating to make sure that you have uh, consistent uh, readings? This is an excellent question. The issue of calibration. So our readout is given in, in optical units. And you need to translate it for the case of, of a medical device into medical units. So we do a calibration. The point is that our calibration low, lasts for a long period of time. So you take the medical reference. By the way, not for all the parameters, for some of the parameters, for heartbeats, respiration, you don't need to calibrate. But for blood pressure, for concentration of chemicals in bloodstream, you need to calibrate. So you do the medical measurement together with our device, and after you do it, this is the there is a calibration, automatic calibration process, and this calibration holds for a long time, say many, many weeks. So you don't need to repeat the calibration until this period of time passes. For instance, in the case of glucose, instead of taking the blood sample several times a day like diabetic patients need to do, you will do it every few months for the calibration. 